I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. As an ASU official, I'm very proud that the ASU has the biggest turnout I've seen standing with all of you to fight against insecure work and low wages. But I'm here to talk to you about women workers. In Australia, despite the vigorous campaigning of unions, women still receive 15% less than men for doing equivalent work. Oh my God. <laughs> Women have low hours and they, two to one, they are struggling to get to make ends meet compared to men. One quarter of all women workers are casual and the majority of part-time and casual workers are women. All of these things mean that insecure work and low wages disproportionately affect women. 40% in the last five years of women have reported being sexually harassed at work. And there is no universal right to paid family violence leave for workers in this country. It costs an average of $18,000 to leave a violent relationship. And yet, mostly women affected are forced to choose between the safety of their family and themselves or secure income. It is a disgrace. All of these things are despite the fact that unions have been campaigning hard for many years. And that is because the rules are broken. But we are here to change those rules today. We will change the rules so that women do not retire in poverty after years of low wages and looking after others. We will change the rules to make sure that there is paid family violence leave as an entitlement for all workers in this country. We will change the rules to make sure that all workers are safe at work and do not suffer sexual harassment. And we will change the rules to make sure that all workers have secure, well-paid jobs. I'm very proud to say that the ASU is here behind this campaign and we will keep fighting until we win. Thank you.